Hi guys. If you're confused right now as to why I am talking to you into the camera with no makeup on and then my boyfriend right here, it's because we're doing something different. Well, I am doing something different, which is I am going to show you how I got this virgin hair human hair wig and I'm going to dye it on camera and I've done this recently before but with a longer style wig and this time it's a full color wig and I'm going to show you right now and my boyfriend's actually going to help me dye it because last time I had such a hard time doing it by myself and since it's only eight inches I feel like it's going to be a lot easier and smoother <laughs> so he's going to help me dye the wig with you guys and I'm just chilling at my house so I'm not going to wear makeup on to dye a wig or anything so Anyways, I'm going to show you it right now before I dye the beautiful wig. I haven't cut the lace off or anything, so I'm going to show you it really quick. So the wig right here, it looks like this. I haven't cut the lace, but it, it looks funny, but it's an 8-inch wig. And it's from this company called Lanny, 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 <laughs> Lanny Wigs. So, um, I, I'm going to go over all the details of the wig when I put it on and show you how it colors, but for now it's just this really pretty black color. I want to wear this wig out, my hair isn't this black, so I'm going to try to get it to lift up to look somewhat red and somewhat like my hair. So you guys are going to watch me dye it. I'm going to first cut the lace off right here because I really don't want to have to waste extra hair color on that. And yeah, so if you see an extra set of hands, it will be... My boyfriend who's hiding. <laughs> okay. I'm share. Yeah, I'm sorry, not my chair. <laughs> but all right, well, let's get this video started. So we got the bleach, so we're just gonna bleach her now. He's very tall, so you won't be able to see him. You'll see me, which is embarrassing, but not him. So she's dyed for the most part. I know that that's not the proper term. It's colored, but still. She's lightening up, but you know, with really dark hair, I don't think it's gonna be a very even process, especially because I myself am not a professional, but we'll see how this goes. All right, you guys. So this is the finished result. So her hair turned kind of brown, a little bit of black spots. I mean, I coated it with bleach, so some spots didn't take, but luckily I bought this red hair dye that would dye it if your hair was really dark to a red color, but it came out really good right here, except there's some pieces that look dark. On camera they look like they're black, but they're actually like a dark, dark red, but the bleach turned the hair pretty red. So I'm going to show you guys the dye I'm going to use. I'm not going to show you on camera because my camera doesn't have that much memory, but I'm going to use this dye for it, and this is the Garnier Nutrice um, Scarlet 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 Rons R Z4. So I'm going to use this color. I've used this color myself before, and it has this really cool, like dark to red. So it's made for dark hair to red hair because it's ultra bold and. It should be good. So I'm going to coat my, my wig with this and then I'm going to show you guys the finished result. I'm really excited because I have been wanting really, really short hair but I never wanted to cut my hair. So yeah, 
like short. Some days I want short hair. I just think it looks so cute, but I would never ever do it just because I'm the biggest chicken ever. So that's why you get wings. All right, I'll be right back with the wig. Okay, so it has been quite the journey. It was a lot harder to dye that wig than I had expected, but I will show you how it came out. I'm not a professional hairdresser, so you guys, if you are, you're probably like, you made so many mistakes, you should have done this or that, but I am not a hair, like, I'm not a professional, like, I don't have, what, how would I say it? I don't have any type of experience in a salon. I have never done that. So this is all I know and I've been dyeing my hair red for years. So I just did what I know. And what I know is not enough, I guess, because the hair wasn't even. And I guess it's just really hard to turn such a dark hair color to my hair color. So what I'm about to show you, it's not even, it's very uneven, but I really wanted to show you like whenever you buy a really dark wig online, like what can happen if you do dye it and everything. So I will show you that. Maybe it would have been a lot easier for me to go brown, <laughs> but it was a lot of work. And it, so far it came out it came out pretty good. It does need some touch up, so I might check in with you guys later and show you how it touched up, if it touched up good, if it needs work, but it needs work. So that's all I'm gonna say. So this is the wig right here. It looks like a nice color, a very similar to mine. I was wearing it the other day around the house and my sister, she was like, did you cut your hair? And I'm like, no, it's the wig. And she was like, it looks just like your hair. So she didn't notice any unevenness. It's not the best. It's not like right here is way darker than the rest of the hair. Like I did notice that there were spots that would not die. And let me tell you, I was up till three in the morning dying of this thing. I have bleached it twice. So that is something that's very, uh, wow, like this hair does take the bleach. And then, cause it was jet black. I'm telling you guys, jet black. And it's still in pretty good condition. It's just kind of frizzy because I blow dried it. But I've been putting heat products in it. You just want to be very careful. You don't want to destroy your wig. Like this isn't real hair. It doesn't come back. You know what I mean? Like it's, an act, it's real human hair, but it doesn't grow back later. So it's not like you can fix that. Yeah, but it actually, the color didn't come out so bad. I'll show you guys how it looks like on, but I'm telling you like this wig is $58 and it's all human hair and I bleached it. I am very impressed because usually wigs that are human hair are way more expensive this, than this. I mean, I know it's only eight inches, but still like I have seen lots of wigs that are only eight inches and they are hella expensive. Like, $200 and I don't have money to be spending $200 on white let's just be real so therefore the fact that this one is only $58 and dyed so well is great but I will be talking about everything else once I put it on so what I am gonna do is I am not gonna put a wig cap on because I don't need one um, I'm just going to my mirrors over here. So if you're wondering, I like my hair today. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> if any of you like that, I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off my pins and I am going to just place the wig like on top of my head, but I'm just going to get like a ponytail and do this. So I just like to leave it like that, like it looks like I have short pieces underneath. And all of these pieces are gonna be for styling. And this wig right here has three clips. I dyed it so this it is stained. It does say on the website that it will stain. Um, there's three clips, one right here, one right here, one on the top and one at the bottom. So this wig is secure, I am telling you that she won't move and it has an adjustable strap so I'm going to place it on now okay so now the wig is on like i said it's very natural so what i am going to do is i'm going to straighten it a little bit 
since it is human hair, it will be able to straighten. And now that it's on, I can see the areas that um, are going to need to be fixed. Like this part right over here, it's way darker than any other part in my hair. Now that's just an obvious thing, but this side over here looks really good. It looks, um, I mean, it's not a professional level at all, but it's just the fact that it looks so decent still. Like it doesn't, it looks almost like it's even. And what you can do too is when you get wigs like this, you can take these to a salon. Like let's say you don't want to be like me and like butcher the hair color and you just have no experience whatsoever. You can take these to a salon. I've seen lots of famous YouTubers do that. So I'm just going to straighten it out because it's a little curls are in there and I'm not into that. So that's the hair for the most part. It's really short, like you can see in the back. But I like it. I think it's cute. This is my real hair. So that's why it looks lighter than this part. But since my hair is red, I am going to try to fix it. But the most important thing was I wanted to show you guys if this wig could like color correctly. If it took to bleach, I was so worried it was going to take to bleach for only being around 50 six eight dollars that is impressive i'm very impressed but it's from this company called lan Yi hair and this is the lace front wigs brazilian virgin human hair short bob glueless and this is a hundred percent remy human hair without any chemical mix it's natural black but it's not anymore it's the hair density is 130 percent can be dyed and bleach, tangle and shedding free, which is true, and clean and soft. So 100% unprocessed Brazilian virgin hair, soft, healthy, okay, I'm just repeating myself. Now, Swiss lace, cap size, middle size, hair density, 130, okay. So that's basically it. Um, I'll just touch up on a few little things, since this video is gonna be so long. It is very tingle feet free. It was way more healthier looking before I bleached it and dyed it. So just keep that in mind that I did apply hair products to this, but I love it. Like I've been wanting short hair. Oh my God, this thing is way too bright. I've been wanting short hair, but I'm too chicken to dye it. And this is giving me charmed vibes. So I'm really in love with this wig. I can't wait to wear it out. Yes, I'm probably going to fix it, but I'm so excited for the most part. I'm like looking for a hair tie. For the most part, I am beyond excited to wear this out because it looks so natural, like my real hair. And you can't even see the lace at all. So I'm just going to put it up in like a cute, um, I can't even tell what's my hair or the wig. I'm going to do like um, a half up, half down part, but I am like I said, you guys, I'm very impressed just because wigs like this are really expensive and hard to find. So I am very, very impressed and it fits my head really well and as you can tell it straightens its style so this is definitely a lot more different than any of the wig reviews I have done so I just I don't know why I think like a half up half down like bun looks so cute with short hair like I just feel like I don't look that cute with it with my longer hair but with short hair it looks so cute. Okay, so that's how it looks, guys. I am obsessed. I totally love this hair and this wig, and I am going to wear this out. Like, 100%, I will wear it out. If you guys want me to film a, a wearing a wig out impression, I definitely will because I am very in love with this wig. I will link everything down below for everything you need to know 
about it if you are interested at all. I, this was an experimental video and I had so much fun making it and I'm so happy my boyfriend helped me and just everything else. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in this wig, I will leave it down below. And I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know if you would want to see more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.